in overtime. Fancy that. Funny enough. Let's find this pistol round, Harry. Yes, indeed. And look at this. Nico, Brokey, and Rain pushing through ramp. I love this. And there's the reward for it. Shox is dealt with. They don't know the exact numbers of these players in the back. And it's a follow up for Rain and Brokey. Zaiwu oh. and Apex, they're fighting back into the lobby. They've traded places. As now they end up where FaZe just come from. Apex tries to take that fight. And that's maybe a little bit overzealous there. Zaiwu all alone. Cold tagging him up, but does get put in the ground. It's now the 1v2 for Zaiwu. This kit. Drop the ramp. Phase. they're not going to be able to retrieve that without going out of their way in a very big fashion. Zaiwu drops the smoke down at the B site, hoping that that forces the rotation from Phase. But they haven't fallen for it. Zaiwu holding ramp, hoping that someone was going to go aggressive in through the lobby, and that push never arrives. Nico's just holding. And the thing is, right, like, the longer Zywe waits, the more obvious it is that this wasn't the B play from him. And now he's going to start to tiptoe his way down into ramp after that smoke has faded. Should be allowed a bomb plant here at a bare minimum. FaZe are a while away from that kit. That's the big worry. So even though they know where he is, they can come and uh, you know chase him down together. Zai Wu, how much time can he stall off of this clock? Uh, jump around, move off, and now just take the straight up fights. Nico hits the immediate headshot, and he has a spanking pistol around. Three kills from him. Absolutely blowing vitality out of that one. I love the fast ramp flank as well. Yeah. The reason that's great is because, okay, yeah, you, you it means you have a weaker A, but that's what you're hoping for, right? If vitality rush A, you're immediately in the back line. If Vitality Rush Ramp, well, you've got three players there. That's that little bit of spice I was talking about yeah. wanting to see from FaZe, right? Like, they, they group up, they push Ramp. It's a great call. It's one that Vitality are not ready for. Remember, they've just played, what, 35 rounds up against a very, very safe-feeling FaZe clan that weren't taking these risks. And suddenly, you know, they go in with a nice little lobby crunch and they deal with it from the ramp flank. Now we play our favorite game. Who won the pistol round? Somebody screenshot it and then you can answer down below. You can't actually, and it's to the side on Twitch, so I've really messed this up. But Nico over here outside, he's got AKs, Scouts, Galils, you name it, it's up against him. And he's not seen a thing as well, despite this smoke going down. It's uh, allowed Vitality to cross towards red, and they'll take that room. They'll take that gap. Nico gives it away. Brokey holding the cross. Timing is everything. It can just walk into main. There's no way that anyone could stop him, apart from Nico, of course, back here in the garage. Brokey's not going to be able to support on that if they play close. And you know they're ready for this angle as well. With them getting too much room outside, too good to be true, perhaps. Oh, that's the shot, though. Apex is ready for the repeat. He's so good with these scouts. Uh, now they're going to line up. They actually trade effectively. Mizuta dropping Nico. There's a gun there to grab. And, oh, dear. This is getting scary, Phase. The force from the Frenchman finding a lot. RPK tagged to 12. The scout is waiting. Rain is coming to Hellside as well. There's two CTs here. Nice and patient for Vitality. Not rushing. Not running the gun. They want to see if FaZe make any more mistakes and give them kills that they can take. Gabby's now trapped in the spawn. And with Mizuta holding down this line, even though Rain can support... Oh dear, that was not communicated maybe because Zywu looks very unaware of that position. Gabby from a range can't follow up. It's the AK to take him down. And Rain's still here, but Mizuta is climbing above. He misses the jump. Oh no, his teammate's dead as well. No cover. And Rain, he knows there's a player in heaven. Shox is looking for it, but they've got to clear out A with 15 seconds. No bomb, they've left it at the back. They've lost the round. French teams are not planting on nuke. Name a more iconic duo. Well, it's normally diffusing. So I guess this is like uh, an improvement? No, it's definitely not. That's uh, that's an oof right there. I don't know who died with the bomb. Maybe it was Zywu crossing in the yard, but it was actually back in garage. So I think it was just left there as no one wanted to, to peek with it and die. But Vitality, they're playing it slow. I credit them there, but that's too slow, right? They, they leave it way too long. Mizuta misses, missing that jump as well, gets his teammate killed because Rain knows there's a player climbing and so he can just swing. Oh, dear. That went from so good to so bad in a few seconds. And these are the kind of second rounds I used to love seeing, where it's just a couple of pistols up against rifles. But that's happening in round number three after the force buy. 
Now, look at sneaky little Brokey. Look at him go on this journey up through secret. What a champ. He's ready here with the MP9. And it's MP9 time, baby. Let's get stuck in with Brokey. He spots three. Nade's going to find a little bit of chip damage, and it's actually Nico to snatch them away. Brokey now goes aggressive, looking to corner Apex in outside. Ramp gets lost as Shox puts up another, but still holding it down from hell is Cold Terra. And there's all the kills coming in in favor of FaZe. It's 3-0, and oh, and now the investment comes on through for T Vitality. Yeah, I like these patient outside stores, right? When you know you're against a team that isn't going to play traditionally and cross towards red and orb uh, very aggressively in the garage, you can just get a lot of room and you can wait. They were even ready for Brokey there, but Nico's flash sets him up to at least get the info. And once the jig is up, they run into the crosshairs. Now, here come the guns and uh, no orb yet. Vitality moving outside. They got late smokes being deployed from Mizuta and Apex. Oh, we're falling off the silo. Shox is here. He's going to lurk with these smokes. He's got some teammates joining him later as well. Nico watching the silo might be able to spot Apex going up and above, but Shox, on the other hand, going right down below, and they're being loud about it. So Brokey's on rotation. He's trying to fill this gap in the B bomb site. Nico flashed for a peek, can't see anything. Mizuta spots him, but only damage either way. The Molotov goes in. Now Vitality's starting to gain serious ground. They push Brokey all the way back to Decon. He's going to play inside of the B-bomb site, and that's exactly what Vitality want. They use that to go back up towards the outside area. FaZe have gambled lower in this round, and Vitality are going to crunch hut. This is the perfect fake, and FaZe have fallen for it. Nico, he needs to hold his own here with his teammate on that A site. Now with the smoke falling over by hell, that's going to draw attention around back into this A site. Nico only good for one and rain falls at the first hurdle. Bomb plant found here for Vitality and a three on four for FaZe. Pretty rough spot to be in. Likely just going to have to be the save, right? This is such a horrific round to try and retake and you don't really have any avenues open to you. There's still even shocks lurking around secret. So that point of rotation is locked in by this man. Vents ain't going up there, man, unless you're looking to die on the ladder. Uh, and that only leaves, you know, like a lobby wrap or heaven. And heaven, I think, is like a horrible spot to retake from in any in any round, let alone a three on four when you've already lost the A site. So for FaZe, they've just got to hold on to these weapons. Luckily enough, Vitality, they're going to show some mercy and let them get away. Yeah, we, we see that a lot in early games of Nuke doing exactly what Vitality did. Some teams even did it in the pistol. That's what Stralis did in the pistol against Vitality. When you take Secret and you know those CTs are going to be anti considering it's early in the game and just throw all their bodies at the problem, rotate everyone down to B and then you just go back up, go back up and take that A site. Vitality had three players in the lobby from the start of the round who were walking everywhere. They weren't making any noise. They didn't blow the door. They didn't spam hut. They didn't, didn't peak ramp. And so even though FaZe don't crunch lobby, they don't actually know the Vitality have those players there. And so that just gives them such a free path into A. I like the call. And now already the mind games have started. Four rounds in. FaZe know what to expect. They know what kind of hands Vitality want to deal their way. <laughs> <laughs> I love Apex, man. Vitality mentally look a lot better, right, on these player cams. You're seeing Nico with his head in his hands, already getting stressed. We're early days. Zuta calm, Apex calming. Vitality, this is their map pick, and let's see why. Well, outside smoke's getting lined up by the looks of things here, by these two players back in T-spawn. They're going to get dropped on over now, and that gives a bit of a veil for Shocks to move in fast behind. Interesting decision. They don't actually throw that close red smoke. They just run the gauntlet, and that, to me, suggests that they're very aware that FaZe are kind of steering clear of Garage and taking these fights from CT, as we Ooh. so often see. Now, Masuta has gotten close to main, and Nico trying to keep an eye on this. Rain goes aggressive, and if he goes any further than this, he would have the bomb. Apex is here, ready and waiting to receive both the package, but also deal with Rain if he did continue his reign of terror there. Now, 
Outside control taken for Vitality, but a man down. They've got to try and reclaim that. It's an early two-man rotation for FaZe down into the B site, completely conceding ramp room and knowing the outside has been given up. They are anchored down in this bomb site on either bomb site right now. They're just having to hold and play very, very reactive Counter-Strike, giving Vitality all the room in the world to work with. Apex going to line up a flash for the Heaven Pop. Now, usually you see this on a retake, so using it to get into the site, it doesn't blind cold, and that's going to give him an avenue, Ooh. but Masuta and Zaiwu, they both find a killer piece, and that's now turned this advantage on his head. This was a, a, a four on five for Vitality, now four on three. Rain is still lurking over here by the doors, and Brokey's trying to get a path up through the vent. The Molly's going to force Rain back, and that cancels the push from Brokey. He can't come up into the fire, so he's got to back away. This might have to be a another save for FaZe. Yeah, it felt like they knew, knew what was going on, right? Already having cleared out the lobby, they didn't over-rotate B, they put two players down there as you do when you lose so much control. But Cold, even though he doesn't get flashed by that, it just tickles him a little bit. He still turns, he still moves his mouse and looks away. And in that time, Vitality obviously peek with the flash and take him down. So despite him being seemingly aware of that play, he's not gonna get a kill and he needed to get a kill. He needed to open up to trade to set his team up for success. Now these kills should come through at the end. I will hunted down by Kierby. But uh, yeah, that's a, that's a round that FaZe really should be ready for. They knew how much control Vitality had. They let them take it, but they couldn't put a stop to it. And the, the, I mean, that's the value of like trading places, even though the CTs, it's nice to clear lobby and, and know that Vitality, okay, whatever they're doing, they're either secret to B or they're wrapping outside to A to remain in heaven. But even with that knowledge, you've got to win those crucial fights. You've got to trade fairly when you've got three on A. And Vitality, nice little execute there. Do they have more for us? A hot, a hot roof molly. Looks like an A set piece. Already players running out into the site. Apex is so blind, but no one's even seen him. Rain is trapped, uh, cornered on the top of the hut. And well, now he's going to find two from the top side, traded by Shoxy, but a two on four. Vitality, not in the best of spots. Do they drop Vent? The B site is clear right now. That is an option, but Shox has walked back into the lobby to care for a ramp rap, a play that's never coming through. FaZe, very patient on this A site, looking for lurkers before they try and retake. This leaves Zaiwu all alone as well. And like, while he doesn't have to worry about Hut anymore, watching Main and Heaven is horrific. Like, these are not nice angles to be split between. And as good as Zaiwu is, he's been left in a bit of a rough spot by this decision to hold for a lobby push. You understand why, though? It's not like you have many options here if you're Vitality. They've made the best out of a bad situation, and they might be able to get this bomb planted at a bare minimum. Shark's waiting for that smoke to fall. Now starts to plug in those numbers, and now FaZe gear up for this retake. There's a man moving in through ramp. He's going to take up a heaven position along with the rest oh, of the him. team. Zaiwu holding heaven. With three players moving in through the heavens and then one late up through the vents, oh. it's all going to come down to timings here. And whether or not Vitality are able to spot this, a nice tap from Shox, a follow-up from Zaiwu. Now a man up through the ladder. Zaiwu's going to deal with him. It's all left onto Brokey and the clutch down to the 1v1. And there's so little time. He's backing away. He's giving this round up. Vitality! That was a two on four, and they win it out. I don't even know how that happens. FaZe, again, knew exactly what was going on. They gave them re the respect. They gave them the sight to plod, and then they try and come in in tandem to retake Nico. He sees Zywoo cross to the left, but Zywoo had already moved out of position, already gone back towards the hut, and Shox had taken main. Uh, the one position in the retake, the FaZe had no information, no play towards. I don't, like, they win every fight there, but I really don't know how. FaZe should be winning that round through and through. Dear, oh dear. That, like, these are sitters that FaZe are losing. And they're timing their plays correctly. They're coming in together. I, I, I'm lost. FaZe, they are going to be even more so. Down to pistols. It's a fast ramp, but fully flashed is RPK. Kiebi gets one before he drops. He's always good at that, at least. But it's Brokey down on B with a hero M4. The one weapon to do it all. And somehow, FaZe are making this work. Again, it's stripped away in the blink of an eye. Back to a two-on-two. -two. And with these lower rotations coming through, Vitality go to the other side of the map. They take ramp to heaven, or to hell, rather. Rain is still on this A site. But Vitality, they're not rushing this one. They're wrapping ramp.
Yeah, time is their friend right now. Masuta taking this bomb into heaven. That's a bit of a gamble. He's going to wait for contact to be made by Apex before swinging a deal with this. Oh, no! Oh, accidentally jumps. Oh, no. Scroll wheel is around the world molding right now as this falls into the 1v1. Nico on the other side. And this is a clutch he's going to give a go. It's a very low HP Masuta left in this one for Vitality. Gets himself up on top of the hut. Starts to hold the heavens, but the problem is he has no idea where Nico's coming from. And Masuta is trying to hold every angle in the playbook, oh. but he goes back at just the right timing. Four on the board for Vitality. Another two on four goes their way. And again, like that rain, he's won the round. He's done everything he needs. He gets the, he reads the play. He gets the kill. He looks at heaven. Mizuta, 10 health, one shot from death, and he jumps. He hits that scroll wheel. We've all been there. We've all done it. And Rain, I, like he loses the round simply because of that. He would have hit the shot. I love how animated Vitality are. Apex is, is like, feeling it. How are we winning these rounds, guys? I don't know, but they are. Wow. This, this is where Scroll Wheel is going to be said, oh, but I accidentally hit the space bar as well. Well, no, you don't. It doesn't happen. It's never happened. Oh. It shocks open in this round up. Finds Nico through the smoke. Man advantage taken for Vitality. They've had no issue winning at man disadvantages. So now sat in a five on four, they're feeling confident moving into this round. I'd be so tilted if I'm phased right now. Like This is not the start to this game that they needed. This match is for the playoffs or elimination, one or the other. And FaZe is looking at the latter right now. Vitality with a strong T side star on their pick after stealing away phases. Zaiwu holding for heaven. There's a player there, but they're both coming down the ladder, sneaky towards CT. Roki can't see a thing though. There's smokes down, and Vitality moved their way into secret. Kierbi has to back up. He has a lot of damage and utility. The grenade is perfection, and the headshots can come through as well. No dink animations. It's one shot, one kill, and he gets two. Nice stuff. Apex trades, but he has set his team up for success. Rain, does he read it? He does, but it's not going to matter. Zaiwu hits the quick shot, and now Vitality, they're going to do it again. They're going to go back up towards A on this B fake. RBK is one and seven, but he's cleared out this site. Cold has come in at the perfect time and he might be able to win this battle but he falls short. RBK calling for the bomb to rotate up. Brokey needs to flick and he hits one but there's one right below. Oh. Number stomp and Apex shoots right back up. It's a vitality again in the right place at the right time and even though FaZe read it the shots just aren't there. Like that's twice Cold has, has made the right call and been in the perfect position but just been unable to hit a thing. Like that's a hard angle for sure that RPK is in but Woo! Vitality. I'm loving this right now. Man, this is, this is rough for FaZe as well. Like, it really is. They've had so many opportunities to take this game. They've got a tech timeout right now as we wait to see what's going on there. Vitality taking five in a row, and a lot of them being in those two V4s to get them to this scoreline. The FaZe morale cannot be at an all-time high. And that's the thing, man, like contrast, especially considering we are in an online era of play right now. Contrast as to how a team like Big, for example, I know that they haven't done too well at Cologne, but they were doing well before that. Oh, no. um, contrast how a team like Big would approach these like 4v1s or 4v2s to how FaZe do it. FaZe, they give you all this respect. They give you the room to play with, and then they try and recuperate lost ground in those clutch moments. Whereas Big, they would just like hound down those players. Yeah. You know, they would chase those fights knowing that they had the man advantage no matter what. And I know what you're, you want to say here, so I'm going to say it for you. Considering the players on this team, considering the, the individual talent of FaZe, you would love them to be hunting down, to be playing this flashy style, to be aggressive. That's what we know some of these guys for. Ray, Nico, called Zira, in your face, explosive players. But yeah, may, maybe the style just isn't the answer. Right, like, it, it's not like the calling's bad. It's not like the ideas are wrong. It's just in execution in these rounds that we've seen. It's not working. They're losing every opportunity. So... Yeah, this is uh, this is a rough spot to be in. It's an eco for FaZe. They make they made these close in the past. Cold finding Apex through the hut. He's gonna swing. There's two for Cold doing something on this A site, hiding in the smoke. Mizuta gonna spam, but he doesn't want to offer up his back to heaven. There are more players there, and this bomb has been dropped. FaZe are in a great position right now, considering the weaponry. Shox is holding for the wrap, and he has got Kierby's number, putting things back into even Stevens. Cold, the smoke's finally faded, but he looks away. He didn't see Mizuta crouch behind that box, and now. 
now, oh dear, uh, uh, Vitality picking the pieces back up of this round and putting them together. Oh! Tag on a brokey, Molotov on to Nico, and everyone now very, very low for FaZe. This was another one where FaZe had a huge advantage, but it's been recuperated by Vitality. His shocks holding on to this main push, and in the meantime, Brokey has Ooh. left heaven, moved back into the lobby shots pivoting on a dive turns back around gets the information and now that they know where brokey is he can't win this round it's the save call on the deeg looking to try and find shocks at a bare minimum he would love to get out of this round with an awp but his shock's gonna give it over i don't know man i know shocks he's not a big fan of giving over his weaponry and there it is six on the board for vitality three in the round for shocks on that AWP. And the reinvestment now going to come through for FaZe. It's now or never. It's do or die time for the FaZe clan. Let's see if they uh, they have any... <laughs> this is a replay. Come on. We all, we've all done it. We've all bought the wrong grenades. But uh, yeah, rubbing it in. Yeah, this is this is it. This is FaZe need to, to start picking up rounds here. We had the same situation on Dust where they were down pretty heavy on their T side, like eight to three or nine to three, and they started to pick it up. They pieced together a decent half. They pulled it to OT. They made it a good game. But this is that exact situation in a worse spot on the CT side of Nuke, on the map pick of Vitality. Shocks flashed outside. I like this. Finally, FaZe fighting for the yard control. Nico's going to get popped in again. He doesn't see Shocks. He might think this one's clear for the time being, so he moves away making noise as he does. Nice stuff from Cold. Again, the same position that netted him the opening kill in the previous round. He does it once more. Saiwu is gone. Orb dropped, but that can be retrieved by many of the players on Vitality. Shocks has conceded outside. Nico, no longer needed, has called for Brokey to watch this position with the Orb. And boy, will he need to, because Vitality are moving out there with a the bomb. And two more. Oh, now they hear the smokes broke. He's going to take a peek and he might get rewarded. Ooh, missed shot. And that's given over some room. Shocks does get dropped and that's the bomb. That's the most important thing in the game going in first. Nico dealt with by RPK. Ooh. Another missed shot for Brokey and he's going to get punished for it. This was another two on five. Surely it cannot happen again. Now we're into this two on three. Vitality, they have been jammy. They have been disgusting. They've somehow managed to win so many of these rounds. And FaZe cannot afford to have another one of these huge adv advantageous positions slip in FaZe of the opposition, Apex and RPK teetering into the site. Oh. They dealt with Raid and now Cold from the hut. They knew he was here earlier. The lineup is there, but Apex is in with another. Not again, not again, Vitality. You can't do this to FaZe. It's just Kirby, the fresh face in FaZe clan, looking for a 1v2. He runs the gauntlet and RPK oh finds my. him. It's happened again. Vitality, a seventh round. That's not jam. That's bloody marmalade. Vitality, how do they do this? How do they keep making it? happen every 2vx every unfavorable situation brokey some seriously close shots but close is not going to cut it at a time like this and vitality they just know every position oh this is absolutely astonishing at this point it's like right yeah three you just go do whatever you want if it works it's cool if it doesn't that's fine as well we'll win the round Okay, Lobby phase, crunch yeah. from this phase. Is they pick up the pace and they shoot Ooh. RPK in the face. That's the man advantage taken. A quick attempt to get down through secret for the remaining Vitality players. Now leaves them in the firing line of Nico's Deagle and I couldn't think of anything. I would find more deadly Nico doing damage but only rewarded with one kill. Zaiwu actually helping out. A spy behind enemy lines in Zaiwu oh. and Brokey now finding Apex. Zaiwu, he team killed to leave himself now in the clutch. He's got to show his worth. He's got to try and pick the pieces back up. There's a gap in that smoke. Zaiwu's gone through it. Brokey's still down at the bottom of the vents, but Zaiwu, he shouldn't have been able to get here. They thought that Main was under lock and key. Doesn't matter to Brokey as he nails the shot. Phase with a bit of aggression, with a bit of tenacity, they take a fourth round. Oh, it's, it's those rounds we want to see, right? The in-your-face phase and Cold. He's been really good at opening kills in this map. He's been starting off strong, even if he can't close them. <laughs> Zaiwu killing Mizuta is unfortunate. And Brokey, he may have missed those orb shots in the pre previous round, but he makes up for them with the Deegs here. 
uh, catching that dropped vent player and then even finishing off Zai Wu. And he's still good for Vitality. They can continue to buy up for at least one more. Look at the streak. Seven in a row for the Frenchman. And three of them was 2v4s or 2v5s. Ah, that stings, doesn't it? Salt in the wound for FaZe. They've started to patch up outside. Okay, let's just forget those brokey missed shots like they never happened. And, uh, and maybe he can, he can <laughs> hit them this time around. But him and Nico with that crossfire from main garage. I'd like to see more of that. Nico getting flashed into the red peaks. He, he was doing it early, expecting Vitality to have spawn control. That's not the case. They went to it late. And so I'd like to see more of that from FaZe because the outside control is nice. Missed shot from Brokey, but the grenades, the Molotovs, all the smoke it hit his view. It was a random shot. Shox is so blind. He's still going to get down the vent. He will get heard in this position. They're running towards lower. Kiebi's dropped ramp to rotate. No one's going there for Vitality, so it's not a worry just yet. It's a gap that's being filled by Nico as we speak, and with him pulled away from outside, look at the room that Vitality are given. They're fully allowed to cross. Nico's coming back. He's considering it, but Zaiwu is going to hit the immediate dome. Cold up in heaven, getting the information. He spots a lot with the bomb as well, and can now hold on for the rafters. There's another for Cold. Vitality down into a four on four. They've got the B bomb site thanks to Shox's early position. And with this rotate from Kierby, it's been red. He's hiding in B and they've got the mollies for it. A suit up on the entry. Kierby still hidden here, but Ooh. RPK sniffs him out and deals with him. Deary me. Double smoke at the ramp as well. They're not being allowed back in. This is just the heartbreak hotel that FaZe have checked on into. Bomb planted. Four on three for Vitality, and FaZe aren't even giving it a go. It's eight on the board for the Frenchman. Excellent work. Even though FaZe again have the information, they, you know, Nico spots it from outside. That kill is massive from Zaiwu taking him down, hitting the perfect timing. Cold even confirms it and does more damage, gets more opening kills for FaZe on top of the heaven. And Vitality, they just scoot past him. They just go, all right, see you later, man. We're dropping B. Shox already has his position. He's not even needed to get a kill. And FaZe have nothing to do but save. That is the best call they can make in this round. Eight to four. His T side is looking dominant. And FaZe, this is it. Three more rounds left to the half. Your chance to do anything relies on these rifles. Of course, RPK checks Kirby, like hard checks him, hard peaks his corner. That's got to feel so rough as well. Gabby, in, in these games so far, has been, you know, in these in these anchor positions on his own, left out a, a, a solo. He's often been good at getting one and getting traded, but in this round, not even. And now FaZe, another buy back in. The money's still there. They've got the AWP on Brokey. Maybe that could be the solution. I mean, opening up. Missed shot from oh. Brokey, who's really suffering right now. Usually so dependable, but in these last few rounds, you can see the pressure getting to him. Shox has put this back into a four on four with a kill onto Nico outside, and there's the follow up. Cold bites the dust. Moving into heaven is Brokey to try and lock down outside, and he does best Zai Wu. So immediately turn back into a three on three. There's a push through this outside smoke from Rain, but that leaves him in the firing line of Apex. And now back into a three on two. Brokey's repositioned into CT. Trying as best he can to spot something with the AWP Kirby. This fight makes or breaks the round. A dealing with shocks has left this side of the map under phase control, but maybe only temporarily. Kirby rotating away after getting that kill has given room to Vitality. They take vents and now they're going to try and split the A site. But this is where Brokey should have this round dead to rights. <gasps> saw it. Oh, don't do this to me, Brokey. Okay, he's back on the angle. It should be okay. Masuta sneaking into the crosshair. The easiest kill of Brokey's career. The bomb going down in A, and it's Apex all alone to try and clutch the round out. Brokey up in heaven. Molly goes in to delay the push, and Apex moving back outside, looking at secret, deals with Kirby, and now just Brokey left to find. He hasn't been discreet in this rotation. Smoke's down in main. Apex has all the information Whoa. right now. Tag through the smoke. Follow-up shots don't land. Flashing through is Brokey. That gets him into the site at least, but the time now working against him. Apex hiding away at the back of the site, and there's the peak. The 1v2 for Apex. Four 
in the round and nine on the board for Vitality. Another clutch for Vitality, right? And, you know, not, not the 2v5s, but the 1vx. It's going to work. It's going to work every time. And, you know, at this point, you almost expect them to close it out. What a perfect round from Apex, hiding in the garage, catching that timing onto Rain. And then as soon as he gets his kill, he hears Broke, he drop out of heaven and, and come for this flank, come for this wrap round and just deals with it so well. Brokey may have hit those spam shots and you go, you're going to hear those connections if you're him. That's why he's so infatuated with the CT vent, checking the close angles. He doesn't think Apex could have walked back to the site. And even though he gets away with it, he is going to use the audio to his advantage. Nine to four. Phase. They buy him right back in. They had a bit of loss left. Nico doesn't want to lose, and so he will take down Shocks in lower, who got behind those secret smokes, at least confirming the fact that it was a fake, that it was a one-man army. FaZe, therefore, don't need to leave A too heavily. They still have players here. Rain on top of the little box. That's a nice little angle, but he's going to get caught. Cold does get one before he's traded immediately, and Brokey Molly out of heaven. Here's a little nifty retake smoke to give yourself a one-way to fight the site. Cover from the vent. Brokey is supported by Kierby, and they have lots of utility to line up this retake. Apex's timing is immaculate, or maybe it could be his downfall. No, he's found it. Nico, oh. the flick background does not want to go down without a fight. Two on three. Man disadvantage for Vitality, but, but they've been able to win every one of these. It's Saiwu and Masuta left in it. Masuta nailing the first man in, and there's the follow-up just onto Nico, and it's a save call for FaZe again. Do man advantages mean anything in this map? Ten on the board now for Vitality, and Nico's just left to try and hide away, and he can't even manage that. Ten on the board for the Frenchman. Round 15 coming up and no money for FaZe. This is just unbelievable right now. It, it like, forget the calls. It's the individuals here that are doing the, the heavy lifting for Vitality, bailing them out of so many disadvantaged situations. Those flashes from heaven don't even work. Mizuta's sitting so close. They pop behind him. He's looking directly up, face against the wall. And FaZe, they've just been frequently buying. They've had the money for it, but the results just have not been there behind it. Round 15, loss of the half. Salvaging something could be everything here for FaZe Clan. They are going to need one hell of a T-side to get themselves out of this rut. Eco. Every time he's been here, he's just been unfortunately timed. Even though he hit that flick back onto Apex, Apex in the round prior, Shocks. Oh, he's been spotted. Nico with a swing. Shocks hits the kill. That's the AK for you. Immediate headshot versus the 94 damage of Nico. It's not going to be enough. And now getting even a timing to secret. Brokey called. He could be down, but he doesn't know to say for sure. Kierby has got to put up a fight. Oh, sees the head of Apex, gets the dink, wants the kill, chases it down, and Apex tagged even lower. RPK get a fine rain in the meantime. Kirby still hunting down what? Apex, and he gets smoked off. Man advantage for Vitality, but so many of these players are low. They are hanging on by a thread in this round. And FaZe, they've got the scissors out. They're trying to cut this one loose. It's going to be the ramp play for Vitality. They group up with three. They've got Apex still waiting in secret. They don't even have to commit to B at this point in time with this much control. 30 seconds, though. They've got to make their mind up, and it will be this B play. Kirby, can he hold the line? He's going to have to hold the line if FaZe want a chance at a fifth round. He's the only man here, the only man nearby, and he rises to the occasion. Kirby with three, and Apex left all alone. So little time oh. has nailed the first, but 10 seconds on this clock. This should be an impossible round for Apex. Cold isn't even pushing. He knows that by giving up a fight, it could throw the round away, and so this one's over. It's a fifth on the board for FaZe at the end of the first half. 10 for half. But the scoreline as is, is 10 to 5, and FaZe pissed around here could make all the difference. Oh, those odds are getting grim, and the reality may be grimmer unless these T's can put up a fight down on the ramp side. Shocks drops very fast, and oh, he's going to get overrun. He's even got rotations. Mizuta drawing them in, and Shocks has been knocked down. Mizuta needs to double here. He's done exactly that, but the reload coming in. Cold flies from above, and it's a three on three. Good odds for FaZe, but... Well, Vitality, just wait till they lose a man and suddenly they'll come alive. 
window break, but no one to push. And these T's are not rushing the plant either. They are allowing time for the CTs to get into position. No one's flanking ramp just yet. Zaiwu is taking his sweet time on that late rotate as he sits in the heaven. He can drop vent if he wants. He can come back down the ladder uh, with the kit. But FaZe right now are not committed to be by any means. And, and that's info that Vitality have just by being in the site. So FaZe cru Look crawling back to hell. RPK has gone aggressive. He's like, guys, I've, I've figured this out. I'm the chief detective. It's not B. And, oh, you know, no. there's only one site left other than that. Oh, oh, oh dear. Ah, ah, RPK, run! <laughs> he misses the chance. He misses the shots. But now they go up into heaven. Zaiwu waiting patiently. That's the bomb dropped in heaven. Nico, this becomes an undoable round, surely. He needs this kill. And then he has to go and retrieve that bomb. And Zaiwu <laughs> nails it. Vitality. Pistol round secured. 11 on the board. And they're looking to secure a playoff right here here right now. Worst part about that for Nico is the first shot he fires breaks the glass and then Zaiwu shoots him through it, right? Like if, if Nico didn't break the glass, Zaiwu probably would have would have not killed him in the first bullet he fired. That is obscene and vitality. That's just unreal right now. RPK, we, we talked about it a lot in this series already. Shooting people in the back of the head, always a hard one. He shows us why, but he gets out alive and that's key because FaZe at that point know that Vitality not only have the info for them, but are set up on A already and FaZe don't even check heaven. So with great discipline to not immediately fire as they come up the ladder. He lets the first dude get up before he takes the kill, knowing the second will be committed. 11 to 5. And the round that FaZe needed to put them back in control of the money is not even there. They're on Deegs and Glocks. Shocks looking to put a stop to this ramp rush. The jump for Brokey. Shocks deals with it. And he can find a second one before he even falls off. Kiev is tagged. So with the rifle, they're very close to him. And the spray is a bit messy. They double up. Good spacing for FaZe. Finds a trade, but nothing more. And that's Vitality 12 to 5 here. This is their map pick in the series, and they are about to take it over the line. Even then, right? Like, it's only it's only pistols you're up against, but Vitality, they just chase down those kills. The moment that Ramp Room is the attempted, uh, like, area of control for FaZe, Vitality rotate everyone in and take every gunfight, knowing that they're going to win it. And that's not the case of what we saw with FaZe in that first half. You know, if that was a FaZe round, they would have been a bit more respectful. They might have given up Ramp. That guy's putting his jacket on and getting the hell out of here because FaZe are getting <laughs> rinsed. This is uh, this is a scary one. Vitality, very much in the lead. Masuta up here on top of the hut is about to get tested in a very big way. There's the legs of rain. Zaiwu mowing down the other two. The bomb dropped and Cold Zero. While he has reclaimed one, it's still the huge advantage for Vitality. They're wrapping players in through the back line. This slowdown from FaZe has given them a couple of kills. And they even seem aware that Shox might have gone aggressive. Cole doesn't often miss these, but in this round he will. Shox is able to find it, and that leaves Nico all alone, but event drop open. It's a sneak. So Vitality, they won't know. They won't have the knowledge. Not yet. Yeah, least. they will see the bombs gone, right? Yeah. And that will give up the info that he definitely was there. And now that they've realized he's not in the lobby, well, he has to be down B. And that door opening was very well timed. Now the rotation comes in. They group up. Nico goes back to Decon. Ooh, and everyone okay. for Vitality has gone towards those double doors. Nico, first man in, is the first to fall. Masuta hits the deck. And now Nico, molotov out. They're on the bomb. He can't do anything about it. Running through the molly, oh. and he perishes in the flames. 13 for Vitality. Phase, they get a bomb plant, so a buy is available to them, but it's really not something to write home about. And Nico, right? You know, that's a great try, but... What can he even do when the molly comes in? He has to swing into the fire. Vitality as well, they do exactly what you're talking about in that second round, Harry. They just crunch, they see the door blow up, and, and suddenly two players swing through the main smoke and just fight and just take those kills. Mizuta atop the heart getting legs, Zaiwu spraying down two, and FaZe are caught lining up utility inside a door. Vitality are not giving FaZe the room to even show what they've got on this T side. We don't know what FaZe wanted to do in that round because they get three deaths within seconds. Vitality, it's suffocating. And FaZe are getting choked out. Mizuta in the site, flashed out. RPK, same story, but from the back of the site, he puts up two through the main smoke. There's Apex with a double. It's actually Zaiwu to steal one away. And Vitality, of course, they've got four players on top of that A site as FaZe commit. Everyone ready and waiting inside of the site. And 14 to 5. This one looks like it might be as good as done.
And the scoreline allows Vitality to play like this. Don't get me wrong. They must be feeling so confident, so ferocious, so in control that, you know, especially when you have this much of a round buffer, you don't feel the need to play safe. There's no pressure right now. Vitality, they can make risks. They can make moves. And not to mention, right, even if they were to somehow lose this map, they've still got a third that they go to to try and pick it up on. So the pressure is that much easier. Now, this A site in this round has fallen, and Nightwood goes down shortly there and after. But Shox, in what was a 1v3, if that happens again, I don't want to say anything because it might happen again. Shox swinging out, this time dealt with by Rain. And so finally, they're able to win out one of these rounds where they're in that man advantage scenario. They keep two players alive, phaser in with a sixth round. So maybe there's still time to turn this one around. Better late than never here for FaZe, but it is so late and Vitality sitting on 14 are not going to be feeling a sweaty just yet. Money is not there for Vitality, so a pistol round with an SMG on RPK. A good round to get aggressive, go back to that lobby crunch that, uh, that worked out for FaZe in the first half. They want an eco off the back of that too. Oh, Zaiwu almost spotted Kiabi playing a tighter angle. Rain's cross towards red. We got three here. Look at those deep smokes as well. FaZe aren't doing anything with them. They're waiting to see if there's a peak from lower, and there is not. Kiabi gets tagged. Mizuta gets out alive. And as those smokes phase, fa uh, fade, FaZe look for the fight. They spot the scout up in heaven, and with that, they drop to B. But so do Vitality with four. This is one hell of a rotation. The right call to make on an eco round where you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Masuta close with the eagle. Oh, there's the lineup. Masuta doubling down cold, trying to reclaim lost ground. And boy, has he done that. But will he be ready for the fourth man? That's three kills on B. You're not ready for RPK, who's holding that close angle. Now onto the AK with armor behind it. Doesn't know where Kirby is. They get the info that Brokey was back in lobby. RPK has the bomb down. Not going to keep control over it. 40 seconds for phase. Time ticking down. The bomb dropped in vents. That there is the perfect place to go back into A. If there ever was a little bomb rotate that you've seen that you're thinking, well, it's going to go up into the A site. It's this one. And RPK is already poising himself at the kind of midway point between the two. More and more time ticking off of this clock. Phase. While they're being very methodical and clearing this together, RPK is preemptively rotated up into the A site, and FaZe just might give him what he was hoping for. They're in the vent, but now back down to B. Bomb plant gonna come through, and it's a nice gamble from RPK, but it hasn't paid off. Yeah, that's a smart call for FaZe, right? Because it, it, it feels all too predictable that he's gonna go back up to heaven because of uh, the, the bomb's position. And the fact that FaZe don't get any contact with him in lower makes him just double down. Makes them commit. It's a bit of a mind game that round, but hey, a good try from RPK. I like that that idea. If FaZe go up the vent, and I'm sure a lot of teams would have, it's certainly a lost round for them. So RPK gets to save an AK on a round that Vitality didn't bring a lot into. And I like that lower rotation as well. That same lower rotation at the start of the map on round number three or four was actually what killed FaZe as they you know, they, they had a, a, a super heavy B rotation in the first rifle round with three players and Vitality, they took Secret, they forced Phase B, they went back up and, and hit A uh, with that Hell Smoke as well to deny info. So yeah, Vitality do the same thing that lost Phase their opening rifle round, except it almost works out, it almost wins Vitality the round. Mizuta, he gets two, he looks at the ground to try and grab the AK and that's what put, puts Cole back into position to get three. He saves his team in this one. Seven rounds to 14, slow and steady wins the race. We can't count them out before the match is over, but it's gonna be such a long road to recovery here. Zaiwu donning the orb for the first time on this CT side. He's taken it with him towards the garage. The Red Cross smoke is down. He's done a little heaven smoke as well. Ooh. And get them across. The cold gets bested straight away. An interesting way to try and take outside. Heaven smoked, so is hell. And then they've also smoked off main. So that leaves Garage as the only point of contact. But that is where Zaiwu lies. And he's looking for these players, trying to get the better of him. Masuta is waiting on the other side of this main smoke. They've grouped up so many players outside. And FaZe, they're walking right into the stack, into the lion's den. Tag on a Brokey. And they're just hunting him down. They know they've got him trapped, so they deal with him. It leaves Kierb be all alone in a 1v5. He needs an ace clutch to keep FaZe 
in this game. I've seen uh, a Dane from the north walk out hut and clutch a 1v5 in the past. Maybe it can be doable, maybe it can be done, but Kierby has not got a lot of time and that bomb is dropped very deep outside. Zaiwu hasn't even moved either. So even if you get these kills at red, Zaiwu is going to be cutting off any rotation. Like Kierby would have to play for kills at this point. Forget the plant. And what kills are going to present themselves? RBK. Oh, he's close. He's been spotted. Fired off a shot. And the next one will connect. Three for the tank. As he had 37 kills in the previous map. He's storming through this one too. And that is a rough clutch to lose. Obviously not the one that we can really expect Kiebi to come out winning. But it is going to put Vitality on 15. Map, match, series, playoff point. Whatever you want to call it. It's just around the corner. But yeah, again, Harry, you put it well with how, how much Vitality just hunt down these kills. Mizuta running out of main after he gets one and just chases down Loki outside. Oh. Zaiwu as well. Anymore. Welcome to the party. Ooh, he's still getting challenged. Still looking to put up a fight. Zaiwu after nailing the first, but now he loses Masuta back in main, and that's going to temper this aggression a little bit from Zaiwu. He actually swings back out. He's going towards the door. This is a risky, ballsy fight to take, and not one that Zaiwu should be winning. Kirby holding the doors. Zaiwu now trapped at the vents, gets blindsided, and now the lobby crunch coming in from ramp, but that Molotov is going to isolate these oh. fights, and Cold lines up the collateral. Eight on the board for FaZe, as they're trying everything they can to long out this game and get it to OT. Yeah, that's Vitality really playing to close the map, right? They, they just want this one done, and they just start trying to crunch FaZe before they've even found a kill. FaZe are at least waiting for that, so good patience, good awareness that Vitality are antsy, trigger happy, hungry for gunfights. FaZe won't give them the ones they desire. More smokes outside here, being lined up by Cold and Rain. Yeah, be going atop the roof. And that's the hold lobby, so he's going to play towards the ladder looking down by the looks of things as the rest of his team cross behind the smokes. More pistols here for Vitality. No real way to put a stop to this. And Nico is being very loud and proud down on lower. You'll notice no one's followed him, or at least not fast. Cold is taking his sweet, sweet time, and the bomb is here as well. Now, that is a cool idea for FaZe. They're hoping that they can bait rotations. But look at this stack. Look at this elevated play from Vitality. They have four CTs holding on each other's heads and on top of the roof. Everyone's fine. Deagle's firing off. Somehow, someway, this is still doable for Vitality. They're making it scary. Traded into a three-on-three. -three. Now the rifles should start to wreak havoc from a range. Kirby tapping from the top of the roof. And uh, close shots. Ray might need to come in and pick up the pieces. And that he will alongside Nico. Teammates for FaZe, everyone finding a kill. I like that idea again for Vitality. Even though FaZe walk into the full stack, the flashes are good enough. This one's getting a little bit closer, Harry. On the back foot. Still a very long way to go from here. And FaZe need to chain together more rounds now than they have throughout the entirety of this map so far. How does Kirby do that? No smoke, nothing. Just the nade flash combo runs into B. Look who's already there. Look who's come from the ramp side. It's Zaiwu. That is not a position you can expect someone to be in at 135. Kirby just gone from the round immediately. Nico, he wins his duel outside, but it takes so much damage at what cost. So I was coming in from lower as well. There's still that ramp player in the form of Shox, and that's where FaZe look to be ending. But no, they're going to double back, throw some grenades. Shox knows it's a fake. FaZe are hoping that with Zywu being in B, that that was the ramp player and this position is now open, but that is not the case. And so FaZe are walking back into A, Shox two is, players remain. Shox has just gone aggressive. He's oh. just got this information. He's coming in on this lurk. And while they do deal with Zywu outside, Shox and Masuta still a threat here. Cold follows up, but Shoxy so fast on this rap. Cold goes back for it. <laughs> and it's 10 on the board for FaZe, now reaching double digits as well. The money of Vitality is dumpstered once again. And so, FaZe, this is still doable. Five in a row needed. Cold, two times winner of ESL One Cologne, back in 16 and 17 under SK. He does not want to be eliminated in the group stage. He wants those playoffs, and he is fighting for them right now, dealing with every one of these flanks, every one of these uh, ramp pushes, in round after round. 
15 to 10. Almost a full eco here for Vitality. What little gimmick have they got up their sleeve? They've shown us some cool stuff with these pistols. Back to ramp with a heavy setup. Yeah, the reason Shocks flank so fast there is because face throw that utility, like they're about to hit it, but no one goes out. And so Shocks goes, surely they've doubled back. Surely they're hitting this A site. Mizuta only confirms that with for him falling down. I like this double boost as well. It doesn't seem like it will matter as FaZe take Yard once more. But uh, two players on the boost, you kill one, you assume it's clear, and it is not clear. Not going to be a worry though. FaZe are dueling at a range. These Heaven and Hell Smokes coming down again. FaZe want to put Vitality, uh, Vitality in the dirt. They'll at least start with Apex. Drops towards B. That doesn't look like where FaZe are ending up, right? With so much control towards Heaven, they can wrap this A site. That bomb can come in through main. Cold can do whatever he wants on the lurk. He flashes team up into Heaven as well. And they're about to clear this empty A site. Hey boys, <laughs> down here on V, we have to begin our journey up into A, and that's where FaZe are executing right now. We got the camera angles, don't you worry about it. Cold holding outside, and Kierby here with him. There's also a player watching from heaven. This is uh, a death run here, not the fun little G mod. Oh no, it's just a uh, literal sense. They all fall. 11 on the board for FaZe. Four now. Between them and an overtime here on Nuke. Is it happening? That's the question. Where have these rounds come from? FaZe, or, or more so Vitality, probably realizing that hmm, maybe those earlier lobby pushes were not the way to close this series because this is now staring them back in the face. Four rounds the difference. We've seen an OT already in this series. I'd be down for another one. So who's got the orb though? No arm behind it. He's been relegated to the M4 in many of these rounds. You see how cautious FaZe are being in the lobby, watching everything, not rushing, not running through the door, waiting to see if Vitality want to bring the fight, and Zywu certainly might outside. Oh, he looks the wrong way. Timing is everything. Nico has been very, very good at catching these outside players. He's seen him, and he's going to duck peek him as well. Nico crouching below the shot. The aim punch is a problem. Zywu is gone. Shox has right. his box position. It might not be expected. I love this position from Shox. For some reason, no one ever checks this anymore. And Shox, oh, they think he's already dropped the B. There's one down. They turn back. They deal with him. Shox only good for one, as is often the case. Every time he's tried to play these trigger discipline moments, too many bodies getting by. And now Apex in the ramp room, RPK in main, two on four. This might have to be a save. There is a two on two available at the B site, but they're never going to figure that out. And this is problematic. Apex is going to spot Nico. Now he's very homed in and attuned to this one man. That leads to Kirby maybe being able to deal with him. Which way did he go? Ooh, huh, huh. There he is. Got him. RPK will get away with this orb by the looks of things. Kirby is running outside. He's trying to hunt down this final player, but he might lose his life if he continues with the knife. Oh, RPK lets him pass. That's fine, though. It's not really a worry for Vitality. They are more looking to close out this game, and FaZe are going to have money regardless, considering they're winning all of these rounds. The second they lose, it's over. So money really isn't the factor, the problem. Or at least not on the other side. This is actually happening. This is actually going through. Nico, great spot as well. That crucial opening kill. And even Brokey, this frag is massive. He trade shocks. Shocks could have gotten so much done from that position. See the frustration on his face. We saw it the other day against Astralis. And right now, Vitality can't afford to get in their own heads. Three rounds the difference. It's getting closer and closer and closer. This was a 15-7. Oh, how the tables have turned. Yeah, this was a game that uh, should have been closed out a while ago, it feels like. And yet, FaZe have defied the odds to get to this point in time. Three. Now between them and an overtime on Vitality's map pick.
just deagles and this one hero orb on Zaiwu into round 28. Nico being a nuisance outside once again. Oh, don't go back for that. Nico spots the orb back in garage and that there is cause enough for them to move away from outside. Into lobby they go, slowly but surely. Zaiwu still waiting. Still hoping that he's given this peek. He's the barrel tag onto Rain. No. <laughs> Head on. Almost through the box. Down here in secret, there's two players of Vitality. They've been able to shift round thanks to this very slow approach from FaZe. And now, if they try and get secret, which doesn't look to be the aim of the game here, it looks like it's going to be a split through main into this A bomb site. But there's still going to be two very, very fast rotations. Apex in the heart gets away with damage, but not a killing blow. RPK has found Cold Zera late in through main. The A site falls, and Vitality now in a four on four retake. Armed with this AK and AWP, Nade maybe could do some good damage to Kirby. Oh, RPK lines up the Nade and finds Brokey with it. Now a four on three. Vitality. This was only pistols around that AWP. And they're in with a chance, but are they going to give this round a go? They've got shocks down in the vent to make some noise and draw attention away from the main play. Nico back in lobby. Masuta barreling in. Ooh. Down goes Ray. Nico doubles up, but now he's left in the clutch and he's got big boots left to fill. Down goes Masuta and it falls onto Zaiwu. Nico, one hell of a performance and he's trying to round it out. He's won the round and now he's hounding down the kill, but Zaiwu just getting away. Goes back and nails the shot. They get all the kills, but the round still falls in favor of FaZe. Absolutely worth it for FaZe, right? Like I said earlier, money is not a problem. They can continue to buy. So Nico trying to hunt that all, trying to get it out of the hands of Zywu. It's not going to happen, but a great retake attempt from Vitality. That one dig on Mazuta and Nico not checked in the door. He hits the perfect lurk timing to come in behind Mazuta and the likes. And you could see those those rifles are waiting, right? RPK and Zywu don't want to go first because if they lose their pistols immediately and can't get trades off, they can save their guns. But back into the action, back into the buys. Vitality have had a fair few pistol round tries, but now they've got to get it go uh, done with guns. Shocks is close behind red. Look at the amount of CTs here. We've got Mizuta in main. We've got Apex with the org behind the smoke spamming. That could face uh, uh, Nico in. He's not ready. Shocks is going to get a kill. There's a player on silo to trade. Kierby will not let, let that kill go unsaid. Rain gets down to secret. These wide smokes are good, and Kierby even catches Apex behind the garage as well. So further kills for FaZe to put them a man up. Boy, oh boy, it's the game that keeps on giving. It's the game that won't go down. And Vitality, they may have cleared the lobby. Is that enough reason to rotate B? We've seen that burn teams in the past in this series already. Phase, they may have secret, but by the looks of things, they're not in a rush to go anywhere. They're not running secret to B. They can just as easily regain lobby control thanks to Kierby, who's come back through T-spawn and use that position to go inside of A. Look at the gamble. It's three on B for Vitality. They are putting all their eggs in one basket. And FaZe, they could be walking right into this site. Kiabi's yeah, still in a position where he can look to pressure this A site. And if he goes into A and sees that it's clear, this bomb goes up through the vents and yep. it never even sees the B yep. stack. Vitality, they've been dodged. They've been worked out. And this bomb gets into A with no resistance. A three on four now for Vitality. They could save. They could try and make the best of this round. If they save, they have rifles up against 14. This is the exact round that put FaZe in that hole on the T side or on their CT side that led Vitality to get seven in a row at the start of this map. It was off the back of the exact same gamble, except, you know, Vitality, re oh dear, the reason they go for the gamble is they only have three up. They can't afford to leave two players on eight. They have to commit together wherever it is and they make the 50-50. It doesn't fall in their favor. Cold's dropped as well. Vitality fighting tooth and nail to get away with these guns. And Kiebi's luck has been excellent in this T-side right now. Holding onto Silo, getting those trades outside, clearing lobby when needed. Rain. Oh, he might have something here. There's a player to his left. The bomb noise covers up his footsteps and he takes down the orb with seconds remaining. Oh, boy. That's a big one as well. So we can still buy it, but they were probably relying on him to drop over a gun. There's still going to be enough for full weaponry. Mizuta might take an SMG to patch that wound as RPK drops a weapon over. But right now, FaZe, 
it's just about taking it over the line. This entire comeback, seven rounds in a row, a 15-7 scoreline going the distance. You can see they're starting to get pumped. We had heads in the hands earlier. The elimination looking likely, that is no longer the case. And now it is Vitality who is stressed out for good reason. This is unreal from FaZe. They went from not looking like they were even in the server. Like this was what? 15-8? Seven. Seven? Fifteen seven, rather? My word. Vitality. Unreal. And FaZe, you got to give them props to long it out, to keep committed to this style of play and see it through right to the very end. And now this round decides everything. Are FaZe oh. cut short? Or do we run this back in OT? He is sneaking over here. Nico? They never saw Apex. Oh, no. Nico certainly could have, but Apex is an unknown entity Ooh. right now. He could make or break this round. And peeking down, he's dealt with the first. No trade found. Phase. They have grinded out countless rounds from 15 7 down to try and get to OT. And now they have to play that overtime round in a four on five. Apex down to lower. Preemptive on the rotation. Vitality clearing lobby with Zaiwu. FaZe might just commit into this B play, but with two players still outside, it leaves options open to head back into this A site. Yeah, typically you only want one guy in this position outside, right? Either Kierby or Nico, both of them being still here. Into phase, don't want to rush the gun. They don't want to commit too early, but that's been one dropped rain found in the window by Zaiwu. Now it's down to the wrap. They've got to clear out the garage. They don't know Shox is still here. Oh, he's got two targets to pick from. Why don't take? He does. Why doesn't he take them both? He does. Two kills. Mizuta close.